Kilo 5, Papa Hotel, Delta. Kilo 5, Papa Hotel, Delta. This is KI5 EAN, go. Well, good evening, Dan, and how are you this evening? I am doing hunky dory fine. Another, another uh, Cape Town meeting. Uh, Rag two, about ready to start. Okay. Did you say Cape Town? Cape Town. Uh, K five C O W. Well, I had to ask. I've got. Uh, a fellow I met through the club, uh, he's a minister in Zimbabwe, and uh, he's pretty active now. Uh, Bud helped him get a radio on the air in Zimbabwe, and uh, he calls monthly and chats about every, uh, we chat about it for an hour whenever he calls. Of course, he's uh, he's flip-flop. He's going to bed when I'm waking up, and I'm waking up when he's going to bed. Over. Well, that's outstanding. Is that through digital means? I mean, you're talking HF or what? Well, we're working on him to be able to get digital and be able to do some stuff over there. But right now, uh, we're using Messenger and Skype. Uh, but that helps him uh, get his antenna systems together and his radio together. It's kind of a strange place over there. Uh, it costs you an arm and a leg to get a new radio certified. So everything he has is old equipment he scrounged, had in the closet when he got into the house, and so he's had to rebuild it over. Oh my gosh, that is awesome! What a way to learn radio, over. Well, at this point, uh, not only that, but uh, uh, there is no... Um, most of the antennas are purchasable from the states, and that's allowable. Uh, he's tried two or three different things, but uh, uh, the main thing there is on the gear and all of that. Uh, it's uh, it's older gear, and it's had to have quite a bit of work. Most all of the older hams have aged out and passed away. As far as he can tell, there's only three licensed hams uh, in Zimbabwe at this time. One of them? Over? Uh, yes, sir. He has his Zimbabwe license. He has his South uh, African license. And he got uh, his uh, general here, and he's in the process of uh, finishing up studying for his extra. And he found a group, uh, a VEC group out of Maine. He was looking for something that was a little bit closer to his time zone than California. And so he found a group out of Maine, and they've agreed to give him a uh, test by video. That is a success story. I hope he writes it in to uh, the QST or, or somewhere and let everybody know that ham radio is alive and well in Zimbabwe. Even if it is only three, three can equal six and multiply by there. Over. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a good story. Uh, I'm going to just see if there's anybody else out there. I'm not really set up to, to write down the the uh, call sign, so let's just see if we can get somebody else involved and who all's out there listening. So uh, anybody out there wishing to come, come now. Kilo, November 5, Uniform Whiskey Mike. Got you, Mark. There was one other little one in there that was just about with you. Let's see who he is, and then I'll turn it back over to you. Kilo, Kilo Golf 5, Juliet, Bravo, Alpha. Uniform. Kilo, Juliet 5, Bravo, Alpha. What you got going today? Hi, right, were you talking to me? I got a problem because I got two Marks out there. Uh, Mark one. <laughs> Go ahead, Mark. Don't have anything. Just uh, staying here in the house and doing yard work, and that's about it. What you up to? 
Uh, same thing here, no difference. Uh, just in the house and uh, trying to stay out of trouble. That's about all we're doing. See that. All right, we'll let you get uh, to the next one there. Catch you later. N5 UWM clear and monitoring. This call, Ross, was that you? Okay, I didn't think we could get him in there. I know that he's got the system on uh, that's tracking all this. Okay, the other fellow that was in there that uh, gave his call sign in. Kilo Juliet 5, Bravo Alpha, Matt. Okay, Matt, your turn. Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, I wanted to uh, thank those who went out to the repeater site to check up on it. I'm looking forward to getting that thing back on the air. Other than that, I'm just uh, hitting the books like crazy, studying for my extra, and I'm already taking uh, practice exams. So, uh, um, uh, Bud told me uh, through email that uh, we're going to have a testing session uh, three weeks from tonight. So that's my target date. Okay, J5PA, back to that. Okay. Hey, Matt, that sounds like a good deal, and uh, hopefully we'll, uh, I don't know how many people they want to show up, whether that's by invitation or how they're going to do that. So I'll stay out of that so I won't get in trouble. But uh, however they decide to organize that, that, that would be great. We'll be looking forward to having a testing session and let some of those people who are trying to uh, get their extra uh, accomplished. Anybody else out there? AF5YT. Hey, there's my net control. How are you, bud? I'm not net control. I ain't got enough horsepower. Otherwise, I'm okie dokie. How are you? Hey, you're sounding good right now. Uh, it may fade, but right now it sounds good over here. Uh, I've got you, and uh, there's no problem hearing you at all. Uh, this is K5PHD. Well, I wanted to butt in here just a second and affirm what Matt said. In fact, we're going to have a testing session on the 11th of June. Um, and uh, we do want to announce it. And I, I guess uh, it's going to be up to me to get it out on the, the uh, groups.io, but I'll try and get that done before the meeting's over tonight. But yes, sir, we're going to go, we're going back to testing and. Uh, we're just going to have to be careful about how many people we put in that room. Uh, yes, sir. That, that would be my thing. And I guess it's not too hot. It gets kind of hot that time of the year, starting to get hot. So I don't know if you could have them <laughs> put lines in the backyard there uh, like they do at, uh, at uh, the grocery store and have them stand on the line. They might... Uh, we might have them flaking out, of course, and we wouldn't want to, you know, give them a cold one uh, while they're waiting. Yeah, really, that would, <laughs> that would not be a positive outcome, would it? Uh, no, sir. I think we would, might be defeating our purpose. I'm, I'm not sure. It may improve some, and I don't know about the others. Well, what's really driving the earlier date is the, the fact that the uh, extra class questions that expires at the end of June, and so we want to give certain individuals like Matt an opportunity to, to have been working on it, an opportunity to come in and, and nail it down and get it done. So I'll get the word out by uh, groups.io this evening sometime, and uh, uh, y'all go ahead and pass the word. We haven't advertised much. Uh, through ARRL anyway, and so we haven't had much in the way of crowds, so we're kind of hoping that we don't have much in the way of crowds that Thursday night. Over. Well, one of the things we could do, uh, if you'll do it off of I.O., uh, we have a limited number of folks uh, that are there on uh, the group's page uh, in Facebook, not the uh, one that's open to all comers. Uh, but on the groups, I'll have to go down and, and count the numbers. I think about 200. And uh, I can uh, go ahead and address the ones that are just local. So if we want to just notify our local people off of Facebook, I, I can make a special post to do that. No, I think we decided we're going to tell the world. 
Okay. Well, I'll wait on you. You go ahead and do the uh, do the I.O., and then we'll follow up from there. Anybody else out there have a question for Bud right now? Uh, DUI. Go ahead, DUI. It's Mike here, KFI DUI. Hey, uh, Bud, on that note, uh, a few days ago, AWR, AWRL North Texas was asking who was given testing. I said, as of right now, Cotton is not. Uh, do you want me to notify them that, yeah, we are now going to open up on testing that day, or do you just want to limit the exposure? Um, we decided to tell the world. So if you want to let them know that we're going to be testing on uh, June 11th, by all means, let them know. But caution them that we're going to restrict the number of people that can be in the testing room at one time. We're only going to have three VEs in there, and uh, that may mean that we only have two people testing at one time because that puts five people in that one small room. Either that or we don't have a meeting that at the clubhouse, and we take the big room in the clubhouse for the testing. Roger that. I think Bill was trying to check in earlier. K5 Whiskey Romeo Lima uh, checking in here, and uh, I'll be more happy to come in and be a VE that night. And uh, seems to me like in the situation, the club might vote to open the whole thing up to just testers, if testees, if we need it. Well, it's not a problem getting it open to just testers and testees. So uh, it's just the, the, the only fear is, is that we got too many people coming. So, uh, but again, we decided to tell the world, and we'll just pray that we don't get too many people, and, and we can always have them wait in the big room while we test in the little room and send two guys out and send two more back in. We'll, we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it on the 11th. Yeah, but you can uh, count me in also to be either a VE or a person standing outside to control some traffic. Uh, that may help also. Over. That sounds good. Uh, you, you might want to contact Brian Head. He's really the guy that's, that's in charge of this, and uh, he's the one I've been talking to. He's, he's the one that's made the decision to go ahead. And how many VEs do we have? Lot. Uh, uh, so the reason I asked is because I recently, like today, received a VE pin. Uh, they come in gold, they come in silver. I thought about purchasing some for all the VEs in the club, maybe doing gold for those who are dual uh, VEs and silver for those who are single. Um, I guess I'll just bring this up at a regular meeting so I can get a head count of VEs so I can get the proper number of pins. Uh, what do y'all think about that? Sounds nice to me. It's a nice gesture. Okay, then uh, this is uh, KI5DAN. I'm going to back out of here. Uh, we need to, I need to get with Mike to redo the um, active members list, maybe get rid of the uh, work phone number column, replace it with VE so we can put in the dual or singular VE um, numbers and that way the, you know it would be a lot easier to uh, do what I want to do. So anyway, y'all have a good night, 7-3. I'm going back to Shirley and uh, hope to hear y'all later on on the uh, North Central Texas net. 7-3, uh, back to net control. AF5YT is back to net control. Hey, we'll go 5 Julian for fire uniform. Bud, well, I get you some information there uh, uh, to help you out with what you're doing, and uh, that's a good thing. Uh, <clears throat> one of the things uh, you might consider uh, in the planning for that is uh, most of the people will be in a vehicle. Some, I'm sure, will be dropped off. But those that are in a vehicle, uh, we can uh, we can sort of play doctor's office and uh, take a cell phone number or whatnot and let them go sit outside with their test materials and all that and call them. If you're overwhelmed, you can call them and have them come back there uh, whenever you're ready for them. 
yeah, that's another workable solution for sure. Well, I'm sure there'll be a way. There'll be a way to get that done, and that'll be a good thing. But uh, I don't know how many other clubs are, are bringing that back up. Uh, I know uh, Fort Worth, as far as I don't know for for. Uh, group meetings and things like that and no restaurants uh, with certain regulations are open to uh, 50% tomorrow. So uh, we're going 50% tomorrow. So uh, that'll be progressing. I just don't know at what point they'll be changing uh, meetings as opposed to food, food service and that kind of thing. Uh, this is K5PHD. Do we have a net control? Uh, we have a semi-net control. Uh, it's not official. Somebody said something about having a rag to, so I didn't call up the official with all that other good stuff or not. I've just been sort of winging it. If you wish to uh, be more official, please do so. I can hear you. You're making a trip fine to the repeater tonight. No, I didn't necessarily need to be uh, official. Right, too fine. It's just that Anthony was trying to get in there. So, Anthony, KG5JPU, go ahead. AF5YT. Thanks, bud. AF5YT, KG5JPU, and a bunch. Uh, it's a great to get everybody on the airwaves and communicating and so forth. But, Bud, do you want me to get, try to get a hold of, of uh, Bo and see if he's ready for uh, June 11th? Uh, you might check with him. That's a good idea. So that's this evening. KG5 APU back to uh, net control. Okay, Anthony, very good. Glad you got that question answered. Uh, do we have any new hands or uh, people who are just sitting listening for the first time? I know we have a number that I've uh, I've seen. Uh, I'm sort of getting the fact that they have an NPTC uh, net that's either started up or starting up. So we may be over the top of some of them. But uh, do we have anybody else out there, uh, new ham or whatnot, that would like to throw out the call sign and let us talk to them a minute? Hey, by the way. Hey, there's a new ham. Uh, just checking out my rig here, uh, sitting out here in my uh, space in my mobile rig. Uh, am, am I making a repeater okay? Uh, yes, sir. I've got a good report on you. Um, it's nice. It's quiet, and uh, you're full in there. Uh, not a problem there, James. And I can, I can understand every syllable. This is K5 PHP. I want to back up on my call board and see if we get the same same uh, success. Hold on. Okay, well, guys, we're getting a little bit of radio work there uh, this evening. James is making an adjustment to his position. I guess that might have something to do with you hear uh, all the time stations that are not making it. They say improve your position or turn up your power. So. Uh, we'll see uh, what this brings us uh, from James. This is K5 PhD. I'll move. Uh, Roger that. I'm out of the call for Am I making a repeater? Uh, yes, sir. And uh, sounds good. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, right there on all that tin roof. Oh, yeah. That sounds really good to me. Uh, how about everybody else out there? Is he making a good copy for you? Yeah. AJ5VA, I can hear him on input too. The BRL, he's loud and clear. Oh, Roger that. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we got this net, little net going, but uh, that's about all I've got at, the time, at this moment. Okay, James, that's great. Great to hear you. And that's fine. And of course, if you hear anybody else that, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to quick key, but if you hear anybody else out there trying to get in that I'm not hearing, uh, please let us know. Uh, new hams. 
Uh, I think we have two or three uh, that have been trying to work a station or two. And I did tell them when we'd be on the air. So uh, if there's a new station out there or anybody out there that'd like to join uh, the rag to uh, please have at it now. Kilo, Golf 5, Yankee Echo Whiskey. Uh, Yankee Echo Whiskey, please give us your handle and uh, tell us all about you. My name is Jim. Some of you may recollect I tested back in, I think, February. I was the guy on the crutches. Uh, New Ham, uh, delighted that I figured out how to make the repeater work this evening. Well, that's excellent, Jim. You're making a good trip. Uh, I can uh, definitely, you got a good signal on you and all that. Where are you located at? I'm located in southwest Fort Worth near the intersection of Sycamore School Road and Hewlett. Well, that's excellent. That's an excellent trip. Uh, any other folks have a signal report for Jim?
Thank you. No, that's James Weatherford, and he's been with us for uh, the build-up and all that good stuff. And uh, maybe the crisscross was our, our new fellow out there is Jim, and it may very well be James too. But it's Jim is is the handle that he gave. Uh, this is K5 PhD. Anybody else out there that'd like to check in or have traffic for someone that they'd uh, they'd like to talk to? I can't believe Anthony just had one thing to say. Yeah, Larry, I was wondering, is our, our fearless Presidente on the airwaves this evening? Because I was on the phone. Over. Uh, I have not heard the fearless leader yet. I'm going to see if Bud will take that one. CF5YT. Well, we still got to decide what we're going to do. Um... I've got a, a uh, question in to the guys that are running it with uh, AWRL asking if they're giving any thought to waiving the 1,000-foot uh, rule this year, and I've not uh, had any kind of response back from them. So um, it's, I guess we need to assume at this point that that's not going to happen. But uh, we need to have a, a meeting and who all interested in participating and get set up and decide what we're going to do, if anything. Over. Okay, bud, and have you heard what anybody else is going to do? Uh, I've just seen a little bit of stuff from the Kilocycle Club. I understand the KC Club uh, uh, going to do something, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, I, I think a lot of them are, are uh, trying to improvise one way or another. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know that we can accomplish what we said where our goals were going to be, or at least our primary goals were going to be, if, if we don't do it together at, at the park. Um, you know, I, I suppose we could do it independently uh, in, in different places, but then uh, uh, that kind of narrows the... Uh, the learning window for us and the number of people that, that can learn new things. So, um, again, I, since, since it's coming up on the end of May, I guess I'll shoot out uh, an email on the groups.io and see if anybody's interested in getting together and having a meeting about it. Uh, we, can, we can do a WebEx and uh, talk about what we want to do. Over. Five zero eight for five uniform. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I'm hearing from the grapevine that the Keller Cycle Club is going to be doing field day at Benbrook Lake this year. Over. Okay. And is there a contact or anything uh, that you're aware of? Well, I heard it from one of the Keller Cycle members. It's also a Cowtown member. But I guess maybe we might be able to get a hold of him, or maybe I might be able to get a hold of him and ask him, and maybe we lay it over to the airways. Over. Okay, Anthony. Well, we wouldn't want to confuse things. Uh, I was sort of looking like they had pretty well had theirs together. Uh, I think what I saw was Mustang Park, uh, which is right down there below Bear, Bear Creek. But, uh, uh, you know, I just to sort of figure out what the area is doing. The only people that I've had contact with have been, uh, since we're, we have a Facebook presence that's pretty good size, uh, we've had a number of clubs contact us. Uh, regarding what we were going to do, uh, but they've been all over the place, uh, everywhere from up north all the way down into Kansas and, and that kind of thing. Over. And I did get an, uh, an email this morning from the AWRL wanting me to do a survey, an eight-question survey regarding COVID-19 and your feelings about um, Hamfest and uh, so forth and what your feelings were. They, you won't, they only sent it to a handful of people, so it was very important that everybody uh, replies back to the survey so they can get their data. So I don't know how that's working, but that came from the league up in Connecticut. Over. Okay, Anthony. Well, did we have anybody else that got the survey that's uh, here right now? Well, Anthony, sounds like you to man, and 
need to go ahead and uh, you know let them let them have some information about uh, that. If you have questions, uh, I'm sure our uh, leadership will be happy to work with you if you have any other questions as far as the right questions. But um, yeah, it looks like you're you're from our area and you'd be the one to respond. Kilo Five Papa Hotel Delta. Larry, I'm, I uh, put my my wooden nickel into the mix, so we'll, we'll see what, what they what they transpire. This is Kilo Go Five Julia for five uniform. Back to K Five P H D. Okay, Anthony. Well, that's good to know. Well, Jim, uh, that gives you a little bit of information. Did you have anything in particular that you'd like to to ask about Field Day? That gives you a little insight. We're still trying to get ourselves together to figure out if we're going to do it. Uh, and it uh, sounds like the Kilocycle Club uh, will be uh, putting something together uh, as we get a little nearer. Uh, I'm sure we may have some people that will be uh, posting uh, both on our page in Facebook, uh, may even be doing some on Cowtown I.O. over. Uh, thank you. That was helpful. Uh, I'll keep an eye on the Facebook page. Kilo Golf by Yankee Echo Whiskey out. All right, sir, K5PHD, and we're open for uh, conversations from anyone that would like to come now. Julia, before your uniform, with a comment? Go ahead, comment. Larry, I do have a question. I did get my QST magazine earlier in the week, but I haven't opened up yet to look at it. But I know on the cover they had uh, AWL Field Day, and I think they had some stuff about... Uh, I don't know how people how it was going to be done this year. Over, so there may be some answers or questions to people that they have maybe in a magazine. Over. Uh, yes, sir. I saw the front page. I got it today, and I saw the front page as well. It said uh, field day uh, operating uh, separately or something like that. And so I'm really not sure what. Uh, what, what exactly they're going to be talking about, but I'm sure they'll be talking about all of that, and uh, that's a good thing for them to begin the, that proposition. Uh, Kilo 5, Papa Hotel Delta. And uh, anyone out there with other comments wishing to come now? Delta Echo Yankee. Uh, go ahead, Delta Yankee. I'm sorry, I'm out here in the fringe. My, uh, my reception is dropping off, but... K-F-I-D-U-I, uh, I read on the AWR website either uh, within the last couple of days on the on the COVID and field day, and at, at that point they said that it's really up to each uh, locale and how the you know, how the city or state or whatever is handling it as far as implementation. Other than that, they didn't say anything about remote ops or anything like that. They strictly said. You know, if you are going to do it in a location, make sure you do whatever your municipality says is all right. Okay. Do we have any comment from anyone else? Well, Mike, that's basically what I heard. Uh, the other day uh, before the issue came out and uh, we had bounced some things back and forth uh, seeing if we could get some information from them about the rules and whether they were going to change anything out there and uh, uh, basically that's why I've been monitoring Tarrant County and uh, at this point in time uh, they're really not uh, giving a lot of uh, social uh, clubs and things like that. They're not giving that a lot of uh, uh, direction. Uh, you know, you got people in the park, but that's for the most part uh, addressing families and picnics and, and that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm sort of waiting to see. Uh, uh, really, not a church, and uh, you know, uh, they've addressed lots of things, but uh, really haven't addressed anything like what we would be doing. And then to move from where we are out into the outside, I don't know. K5PHD, and this is the 
K5COW Club, and we're having our round robin rag chew. Uh, this is in place of our Thursday night meeting, which uh, we've been having for years and years until we've had all of this uh, come up. And right now, on the first uh, Thursday, and basically on the third Thursday, unless things change, uh, we have uh, WebEx, and we gather uh, around the WebEx app, and uh, we have the business meeting, and we have a program. Uh, on the second and fourth, uh, we have been having a net. Uh, this is K5PHD. Have any late uh, late check-ins or late people who have just tuned in? Want to have something to say? Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, let you involve yourself in the rag too, or practice your skills. If you're a new radio operator, uh, please come now. NR5Y. Yes, sir. NR5Y. And how are you this evening? Just when you thought you were off the hook. Then you let me get the mic. Well, of course. Why wouldn't we do that? Uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Go ahead. November Romeo 5, Yankee. Well, I just wanted to make a comment about M Memorial Day. This Tonight's been very good because it's all, it's all been radio stuff, which is what we're supposed to be talking about. But on Memorial Day coming up, I was just going to say that uh, there's, a, there's a good documentary thing on Amazon called Point, P-O-I-N-T-E, Duhok, which sounds like a Vietnamese battle, but it's a uh, battle that took place at Normandy. Let me reset for a moment. really good documentary and a important person there was James Earl Rudders called the Rudders Rangers probably everybody in Texas has heard about this besides me but he went on after the war to be the mayor of Brady Texas if you know where that is and then a president of Texas A&M and I don't even like Texas A&M but when I saw this documentary I'm changing my attitude toward them it's a really good documentary One more comment, and then I'll shut up. But my father was in World War II. He was an Army infantry uh, guy, went across North Africa, all across the, the uh, whole thing with Rommel's raiders and all the Rommel, Rommel's tank troops and all that to the you know hills of Tripoli and all that stuff and through Casserine Pass where Eamon Carter Jr. was taken prisoner and so forth. So anyway, my comments about we need to be thinking about Memorial Day, back to net control. In our five wide. Was married to a close friend of mine. He's Aggie Aggie through and through, and he did end up going down there and marrying her. So I'm a, I'm aware of the Rudder family just a little bit over. Okay, I crossed with you, Larry. But anyway, uh, we need to be thinking about all those guys that sacrificed so much for us on Memorial Day. In our five Y. Uh, yes, sir. In our five Y. And yes, we're, we do. If you have a chance, go to Greenwood. Uh, Greenwood, uh, it's back over there directly uh, behind the chapel, almost all the way to the fence. There's a large obelisk and a bunch of small uh, gravestones, and that's Canada. And that piece of property has been ceded to the Canadian government. And the British uh, uh, War Memorial, Grave Memorial, and there are flyers uh, that learned to fly in World War II and died out in Benbrook trying to learn to fly over. Yep, I think I've heard of that. So anyway, I I could get off on this World War II stuff all night long, but we're, we're talking about radio things, so back to net control in R5Y. All righty. Glad to hear you in there. That's, uh, that's good to hear you. And we'd love to have uh, everything you have to say and come visit us often. We sure do. Anybody else out there that would like to uh, have a little say-so or... Uh, just let us know that you're there. If you've tuned in, whatever, uh, please come now.
Well, I wouldn't want to leave out, uh, just talking about Memorial Day, I wouldn't want to leave out any of the uh, number of military folks that we have in our club. And uh, we have uh, Buzz, and uh, we have Mike, and, uh, gee, I'd miss everybody. Kevin, uh, just a, a whole slew of people that are uh, military. And uh, I do have to bring up one thing. There's a picture of a guy and a pretty lady in an airplane that several people have been asking for. He threw on uh, Facebook. Mike, you want to tell us a little bit about that airplane? Sure. KFI VUI. That is a uh, T-6 Texan II as a replacement for the T-37. It's the current primary uh, trainer aircraft. It's a turboprop, so it's got a jet engine attached to propeller. And uh, I flew it for about four years, but the, the key to the picture was I retired in it eight years ago. And it seems like yesterday. I didn't think I was getting that old KFI DUI. Well, I figured we'd have some comeback from somebody there. Uh, Bud, you don't want to jump in on that? What am I supposed to jump in on, AF5YT? Well, the fact that Mike uh, is feeling old, I think, is the, the gathering I've got. That, uh, eight years was only a, a shadow of a second, and uh, we're talking about military and military experience, and surely I can get you going on that. Well, that was the thing that was confusing, because I thought what you wanted to talk about was some pretty lady in a, in a funny-looking airplane. Uh, but Mike's just a mere child. Why he thinks he's old enough to retire is beyond me. <laughs> I love that. i tell you what. <laughs> okay. Any other military folk out there that I've left out this evening? something before we uh, come to uh, the end of our hour and uh, uh, sort of close this thing out. Is there anybody else out there who has something good for the cause? Well, not hearing anything, I'm going to get uh, 759 and change. I'm going to go ahead and close the uh, informal net and rag you here tonight as uh, Cowtown uh, Radio Club, Kilo 5, uh, Charlie Oscar Whiskey, and this is K5 PhD Net Control, and we've enjoyed it tonight, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys on the airway or on the Internet. Over. K5 WRL. 73 is all. Good night. AF5YT, 73 and good night to all. N5UWM, 73, and catch y'all later. That's 8 o'clock, and the net is officially closed. Thank you very much. K5PHD. Five YT, KG5JPU.